Tanky Hercules will be ready to attack any intruder getting past the forward defenses. Though our largely automatic air defense system is truly a technical marvel, highly trained men are vital to its maintenance and operation. Training these men is the job of the center's U.S. Army Air Defense School. The students, most of whom are volunteers, are carefully selected by means of aptitude and intelligence tests. The jobs these men are being trained for require a high degree of technical competence. The school conducts over 60 courses at once, ranging from a few days to more than a full year. The specialties taught are many. For instance, electronics, as applied to complex radar, missile guidance, and computer systems, are a major field of study. Military tactics and leadership are also of paramount interest. Graduates of the school join the ranks as line and staff air defense officers, electronic warfare specialists, Hawk and Nike Hercules missile technicians, automatic weapons specialists, and fire distribution system operators and maintenance technicians. It is obvious that the control and coordination of widely separated air defense weapons demand reliable communication systems. To teach maintenance and operation of such systems is a major mission of the Air Defense School. Here students watch a diorama demonstrating operations of the ANG-5 or BIRDIE fire distribution system. Birdie an acronym for Battery Integration and Radar Display Equipment, coordinates operations of missile fire units by conducting a continuous high-speed exchange of tactical information among all fire units and higher air defense commands. This information includes position and identity of all aircraft within the defense area, the status of each fire unit, and commands, such as assignment of specific targets to specific fire units. To see how Birdie maintains effective control of a tactical situation, let's assume that an intruding aircraft has been detected by the radar net of the North American Air Defense Command, NORAD. Information on the hostile aircraft's position and identity is flashed to Birdie. This information, along with that supplied by local surveillance radar, is displayed on Birdie consoles in the form of symbols. The console operator monitors the progress of the enemy aircraft and corrects or updates the data as necessary. All target information displayed on the Birdie console is also displayed at each fire unit. Thus, each fire unit commander has an accurate picture of the overall air situation. The Birdie console operator decides which fire unit is best situated to engage a hostile aircraft and assigns the target to that fire unit. At this time, the battery commander of the fire unit starts tracking the target by radar in preparation for firing a missile. Now that the enemy aircraft has been destroyed, the fire unit transmits a message to Bertie indicating that it is ready to engage additional targets. Also, the kill information is relayed by Birdie to higher command, and the tracking information on the destroyed aircraft is cleared from the system. Now let's visit a class engaged in study of actual hardware. Gentlemen, this is the general purpose console for the Missile Mentor Fire Distribution System. This console automatically exchanges data with all other elements within the area to be defended. Information displayed gives the Army Air Defense Commander an instant picture of the air battle. As the battle takes place, by watching the console, he can immediately determine such things as the number of enemy aircraft present or when a kill has been made, which firing unit should fire its missiles, and the time of firing. So began a class of future fire distribution system maintenance men. But a fire distribution system includes many items besides the consoles. For instance, classes are held on radar data processing equipment, memory storing units, 
several types of surveillance radar, computing equipment, and automatic data transmission systems. Another major part of the Air Defense School is the Low Altitude Air Defense Department. Here, a new class get their first lesson in maintenance of the twin 40 millimeter self-propelled gun. This lightly armored automatic artillery weapon was designed for air defense at the division level. But because of its rapid rate of fire, it has proved itself a valuable support weapon against ground targets. You men are about to receive training in the operation of a weapon made famous as the Quad 50 in World War II. As you can see, four caliber 50 machine guns are supported by a power-driven mount. Now, everybody, take your stations, and we will run through a dry run to familiarize you with this weapon. This is the Red Eye. It is a man-transportable, shoulder-fired, air defense missile. It will be used to protect frontline troops against such targets as jets, helicopters, and reconnaissance aircraft. This is the Vulcan an automatic 20 millimeter gun with an extremely high rate of fire. It can be used against both aerial and ground targets. This linkless feed system stores 1,200 rounds in ready to fire condition. Against aircraft, 3,000 rounds are fired per minute. Against ground targets, the Vulcan is set for 1,000 rounds per minute. When deployed in the field, the Vulcan will be used in conjunction with the Chaparral system. The Chaparral system uses an infrared guidance system to defend the forward battle area against low-flying aircraft. The system is fully mobile, has a top speed of 40 miles per hour, and can cruise for about 300 miles. The Air Defense School devotes a large part of its effort to training officers and men in the operation and maintenance of the Hawk missile system. The Hawk, designed for defense against sneak attack by low-flying aircraft, works like this. Two acquisition radars, one for higher altitude and one for extreme low-level search, detect the intruder, a jet drone aircraft. In the battery control central van, the tactical control officer watches the radar display of target speed and direction. At the proper time, he assigns the target to a Hawk fire unit. The illuminator radar facing in the direction from which the threat is approaching, searches a small area of sky. Now its beam finds the target, locks on, and automatically tracks. Next, a specific launcher is selected, slave to the radar, and the firing button pushed. The missile is guided by signals directly from the illuminator radar and homes on signals reflected from the target. The Hawk missile has proved so reliable and accurate that it has been adopted as a primary air defense weapon by the Marine Corps and several NATO nations whose maintenance and operational personnel are trained at Port Bliss. But successful as the Hawk has proved to be, improvements are being made to enable the system to meet battlefield requirements with even more effectiveness. Another major part of the Air Defense School is the High Altitude Missile Department. Here, an officer's class is instructed on operation of the Nike Hercules guided missile system. Nike Hercules is a long-range weapon capable of destroying an entire formation of hostile aircraft. It is reliable and extremely accurate, having hit targets traveling at supersonic speeds, at distances greater than 75 miles, and at altitudes up to 150,000 feet. As you can now see, we have our target presented on our scopes. Now it is the job of our operators to go and place this target into a track condition. He will do this by... Some of the